नमस्कार आय एम डॉक्टर अंजली भट प्रॅक्टिसिंग एंडोक्रिनोलॉजिस्ट इन पुणे आय पॅशनेटली केअर अबाउट पेशंट्स विथ डायबिटीज थायरॉइड अँड अदर हॉर्मोनल डिसऑर्डर्स अँड वी आर गोईंग टू टॉक टुडे अबाउट अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ग्लँड इन द बॉडी दॅट इज कॉल्ड थायरॉइड ग्लँड थायरॉइड ग्लँड इज अ स्मॉल बटरफ्लाय शेप ग्लँड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अवर नेक अँड इट प्रोड्युसेस ॲज द नेम गोज थायरॉइड हॉर्मोन्स विच आर कॉल्ड टी थ्री अँड टी फोर ट्राय आयडोथायरोनिन अँड टेट्रा आयडोथायरोनिन नाव दीज हॉर्मोन्स आर व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू रेग्युलेट दि मेथबॉलिझम ऑफ अवर बॉडी बाय मेथबॉलिझम आय मीन एव्हरी प्रोसेस दॅट गोज ऑन इन द बॉडी विच इन्क्लूड्स आवर इटिंग हॅबिट्स आवर बॉवल हॅबिट्स दि हंगर युअर स्लीप युअर हार्ट रेट युअर ब्रेथ रेट इन वुमेन द मेन्स्ट्रुएशन द सायकल्स द डेट ऑफ दि सायकल्स ऑल दीज आर रेग्युलेटेड बाय थायरॉइड हॉर्मोन्स बाय दिस आय एम शुअर यू वुड हॅव अंडरस्टूड हाऊ इम्पॉर्टंट इट इज to have normal thyroid functioning in our body let's go to the topic of today that is thyroid levels the hypos and hypers of it what does it mean that the thyroid gland is functioning low we call it hypothyroidism and if the thyroid gland is functioning in excess we call it hyperthyroidism fortunately and with the advances of the science it's very easy to detect any abnormality in thyroid function or the structure of the thyroid gland let's go ahead and look at what are the problems to detect in the functioning of the thyroid gland and in the blood we can easily test these two hormones that is t3 and t4 if their level is low we call it hypothyroidism and if you have hypothyroidism you will have symptoms of low metabolism or slow metabolism that is less hunger excessive weight gain excessive sleep and delayed menstrual cycles and when the thyroid hormones are in excess we call it hyper functioning of thyroid gland or hyperthyroidism and the symptoms are exactly opposite that is excess hunger weight loss and excessive heart rate what we call as palpitations if you have hypo or hyperthyroidism related symptoms then it is must to check for thyroid hormones Sometimes a very minor problems in thyroid gland functioning can be asymptomatic or something that will not give you any symptoms in such cases also we recommend a routine testing of thyroid function now it's practically not possible to ask everyone to get a thyroid function test done but if you are anyway getting a routine checkup done it is very important to remember to add a thyroid function in your checkup Now let's go and see what all we test in the blood when we are testing for functioning of the thyroid gland. We saw that we test T3 and T4. There is another very important hormone that we check that is called TSH. This is called thyroid stimulating hormone. This is actually produced by pituitary but regulates the production of T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland. Now TSH is a very stable, reliable hormone. and sensitive hormone by that i mean is that tsh values do not change from now and then and the tsh values are very sensitive to any small change in t3 and t4 so practically if your pituitary gland is normal a normal tsh would mean that your thyroid function is absolutely normal so if you are doing a routine test tsh is the hormone that must be included in the testing Now coming to the second aspect of thyroid abnormalities which can be abnormalities in the structure of the gland so irrespective of what is the hormonal level in your body your gland size may be large it may have swellings it may have something called as cancer so to detect these we need to do an ultrasonography of the thyroid gland that is usg of the thyroid gland in some borderline cases of hypo or hyperthyroidism we might need to do specialized blood tests that are called thyroid antibodies these can be tpo antibodies thyroid tsh receptor antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies these are not the tests for everyone they may be costly and will be recommended by your doctor only if they are needed coming to a last but a very specialized test called as thyroid scan this is a thyroid nuclear medicine scan and is done in some cases of hyperthyroidism to guide the further treatment coming to the summary of today's discussion we saw that thyroid gland is a small gland in front of your neck which produces very important thyroid hormones 
they are essential for our metabolism if we need to test for normal or abnormal functioning of the thyroid gland we test for tsh t3 and t4 in the blood if we are looking for the structure of the thyroid gland we do an ultrasonography of the thyroid and in some rare cases a doctor might ask you to do specialized tests like antibodies or nuclear scans i'll be happy to take if there are any queries with that we'll stop today namaste Thank you.